This video will show us how to log into the Clever app for the first time. After we log in for the first time, all of your secure information like your email and password will be auto stored. So it'll essentially be a one click sign in. You sign into Clever once and then you can access all the amazing apps our school will provide. Step one is going to be to go ahead and click on the Clever app. You can find that on your iPad by finding the background that's blue with a C on it for Clever. Once you have clicked on that, you're gonna see this screen. It's gonna show a picture of your face. I went ahead and saved you from that. Um, all you need to do is press this log in with username and password, okay? So again, step one, open Clever app. Step two, log in with username and password. So you're gonna lightly tap this on your iPad. Then step three, this is gonna vary. So kindergartners, I believe all got a badge and maybe your teacher included a badge for you too. So you can use your iPad phone, sorry, your iPad's camera to go ahead and scan the QR code. For those of you who did not receive this QR code, we are all gonna go over here where it says type your school name. Again, this is the first and only time it's gonna ask you to do this. In fact, as you start typing Shirakawa, you can see I got S-H-I-R-A and then boom, Shirakawa Elementary School popped up. So again, you're going to lightly tap your screen where it says Shirakawa Elementary. From there, it's gonna ask us to log in with Google. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And I want to remind you, this is your at fmsd.org um, email. So again, this can be found in that Ziploc bag that your iPad came in. The green sheet has a label on it with both your fmsd.org email and the next screen is going to ask for that password. So up here we'll see again, it has my fmsd.org. So I type in my password. Again, please don't share your password with anyone, but it should be the first initial of your name, the last initial of your name, and then your 130 student number, okay? And no, this is not my student number. We never share our passwords. This is just an example. Okay, so once you have typed in your email and password, it will take you to your home screen on Clever. This example here is for student Claire, and yes, I did get her mother's permission to do this. So this is what her home screen will look like. Her new teacher is Miss M. Nguyen. So if she clicks on M. Nguyen's page, it will show all the apps that her teacher finds important for her classroom. We also have our brand new Journeys app here and all the Google apps that you will need. We'll go over those a little bit later. So if I click on that teacher page, like I told you, here would be Claire's teacher who put together these apps that she's going to be using in her class. So these are the important ones. These can change over time. Your teacher can add in new ones, take away apps to really see what your class is going to need this year. When you're all done looking at these apps, or maybe you clicked on it by accident, all you have to do is click the back button and it will take you back to this home screen. Now, for those of you who are in grades four to eight, so fourth grade through eighth grade, we are using Google Classroom. Those of you in kinder to third, you're going to have a different app called Seesaw. But for this training, I'm only going to go over Google Classroom. So you're going to click on it, and then you're going to see one of two things. Your amazing teacher, Miss Minuin, if you had her, already included you in the class, so you're already in, ready to go. However, if you see this blue join button, it means that you're not a part of the class yet. So you need to click on the blue join so that way you can be a part of your online class. This is where all assignments are going to be. Once you click the join, now you can see that there's no more join or decline. So you are now a part of the class. I'm gonna show you specifically my homeroom. So I'm gonna click on Miss Simonson's homeroom. Again, with our iPads, please be gentle, just a gentle tap. This is what we're going to see over here on the right side. Down at the bottom, I love these features. This is the stream. This means anything that has been posted is going to show. And it's going to put it in order that things were posted. The next option here is going to be classwork. I love this. If you click classwork, it will go ahead and show you all the different topics. So if I just wanted to go to the chill out zone, I need a moment to relax, maybe to work on my breathing, I can go here to this material. When my teacher posts my ELA homework, it can be right here. So everything is sorted by topic. I love this and I hope you will too. And that concludes it. So happy learning.